A letter was sent by several Democratic politicians to SWIFT acknowledging how her concerts are helping the region's hotels, of course, but they also say workers are still being hung out to dry, and so they don't want her to perform while there's this ongoing hotel strike. Let's bring in News Nation contributor Johanna Masca joining us from News Nation, you can see there, Los Angeles. So, Johanna, uh, you got the lieutenant governor enjoying herself. Taylor Swift concert. Don't blame her for going. And then she says you got to yeah. postpone. Hypocrisy? Well, I, uh, first, I just have to apologize to all of you guys because I know you wanted Taylor Swift and you have me. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm, no, I'm no. sorry. Oh, we love you, <laughs> But uh, yes, I am sitting here uh, the day ahead of this, you know, swift mania here in Los Angeles. And of course, we all see the lieutenant governor call on Taylor Swift to reconsider her tour. And the likelihood of that is next to nil, right? Because we've got right. six days of a sold out tour. Tickets are now going $700. But in doing that, she actually raised an issue of Unite Here has been on strike for way longer than they expected. They expected when they went on strike July 1st, that it would be a few days. And now it's August 2nd, and we don't have any resolution. And these hotel workers, they're the people who clean the rooms. They're the housekeepers, and they are but, you know, asking Johanna, it's, for $5 it's, it, more an hour. It's, it, I don't think it's about raising the issue, right? She's the lieutenant governor. She can raise whatever issue she wants. I think it goes back to well, it's not sort of the days of, uh, I think, but I think it goes back to the days of, of Gavin Newsom during COVID going to French Laundry and Nancy Pelosi getting her hair cut, right, while telling everybody else, so, you, you can't do one thing, but me, I'm a high profile yeah. politician, whatever side of the aisle you are on, uh, and I can do something else. I talked to our office earlier today, Blake, and look, she's a Taylor Swift fan, but uh, they aren't on strike in Santa Clarita. That's a different situation. She went to a concert where there isn't a hotel strike. Uh, there is a massive hotel strike in Los Angeles, such that Gavin Newsom forced uh, the California Democrats to move their convention to a different hotel so that he didn't have to cross a picket line. So, you know, there it is a little different than, than the concert that she went to. And I think, you know, in the vein that she is a Taylor Swift fan, I hope that this leads Taylor Swift to do something for the workers, to acknowledge their plight, because we've seen Los Angeles you know, you've got these workers are living in their car so that they can clean your hotel and then driving two hours on a weekend to get to their house. We've got to do better for affordable housing and for options, but they are asking for a, Bill, a this, raise Bill, it, and they're not getting the coverage on that raise. Johanna, stand by. Is this... Is this rules for thee, but not for me? You just took my line. <laughs> a absolutely. I feel, I'm having flashbacks to Gavin Newsom with lobbyists unmasked in the, in the yeah. French laundry. Um, but this is part of the, 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 the hypocrisy here. Um, I think on some of these really draconian policies or requests that people make to make sure that they comply with the picket line. If they're telling the families of California, don't go and enjoy yourself at a Taylor Swift to honor this, this union demand, which they support. But at the end of the day, when she shows on Instagram her standing there in the stadium, smiling during the concert, um, what are these moms and dads going to say to the little girls who want to go there? I but mean, there wasn't just... a strike in that location. The strike is in Los Angeles. That's let me right. ask you this. Let me, ask you, let me, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Price. The biggest story in sports right now is Shohei Otani having the best season in the history of baseball ever, ever, ever. I'm sure there are people flying into Los Angeles, mm -hmm. staying in hotels to go watch the greatest baseball season of all time. Should Shohei Otani be pulled out of the lineup? Uh, of course not. Okay, so then what, I mean, but that's what so why aren't they going after Shohei Otani right. if they're going after well, Taylor Swift? I don't know why they're not doing that, but I will tell you this: that this will put some pressure on Taylor Swift and her people to do something. I don't think she's going to cancel the concert. Maybe she makes a contribution to a fund to support those workers or to support that strike. But she's got six days of concerts, and have you looked at the economic numbers? Oh, I and have. The yeah. Boom in yeah. Los Angeles and California as a whole. So right. uh, that's a good way to resolve it. I don't know whether they will or not. All right. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.